Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I am in a new space. You haven't seen this angle before. I'm in my front entryway and I'm starting a new project today. So I'm excited to share it with you. Stay tuned for that and welcome to my front entryway. If you've been following along with my basement declutter project, which I'm doing along with Sunday Dawn at the Helpful Home and a bunch of ladies, we're doing it as a Tiny Tidy Tuesday collaboration, then you've probably seen the dining room chairs, which are over my shoulder. So my dining room is that way, the kitchen is sort of straight back, and then our front um, parlor, we call it the hearth room because that's where the fireplace is, that is over to this side. So our front door is basically in the center of our home and it gets used more as an entryway for the guests. And then sometimes my daughter or I will use it to get the mail, to go to the neighbor's house, that sort of thing. And today I'm beginning a new project. So right after Christmas, I got something that I had ordered, I had pre-ordered, and this is a card deck called Beautifully Organized in 52 Weeks, and it's made by Nikki Boy. Nikki has two channels, At Home with Nikki and At Work with Nikki here on YouTube, so I'll link those channels below. I'm not affiliated, I just love following Nikki. I've been watching her videos for years. She's always inspiring and she has such a beautiful aesthetic. So I was excited to get this card deck, and what this is is 52 cards. You could do one each week, of course, and they just go through different areas of your home and she gives you tips and tricks and little tasks to help get your home more beautifully organized. So I am sharing my journey with this here on YouTube as a way to keep me accountable because I've discovered through doing my Tiny Tidy Tuesday videos that the best way for me to keep up with these projects is to have to make a video and share it with you. So I've grabbed my card deck and the first card and card number one in the 52 weeks card series is working on decluttering your entryway or the main entrance into your home. And of course, the other tool I grabbed is my favorite tool, my trusty timer. So I'm just going to set my timer for 10 minutes. If you wanna join along with me and do a little decluttering in your front entryway, I'd love to hear how your process goes. And if not, then I'm just giving you the 10 minute timer to let you know you can get a little decluttering done while we're working together. So I'm actually gonna switch you around to the stairway back behind me so that you can see a little bit more of what I'm working on as I declutter this front entryway entryway. Okay, so now you're sitting on the steps, you get a fun view. I have this little table that just sits beside the door to kind of be a catch-all place to put the mail down when I first come in, or if guests come in, they can always set a purse or a bag there. I have a little coat tree and a mirror on the other side, and I still have some Christmas decorations up. So this I thought would be a great place to start because I'm still gathering up my Christmas decorations. There's a few things sitting here and we'll take care of those in the process of just decluttering this whole space. So let's get started. So this flag I haven't been putting out because the bracket is getting a little too flimsy. So I have a plan for it, but I haven't done the plan. So I'm gonna put it in storage because I don't need my spring flag at the moment. These are some items my daughter was playing with, so they're gonna go in her room. These are the last of the Christmas decorations. There was the letters to Santa um, little mailbox that our elf was using and then our gnome. We also had a Christmas gnome this year. So the gnome brought their own little mailbox and some teeny tiny envelopes and letters. So these are all gonna get tucked away. And then this was just a card from the Joyful Jordan box that I really liked. It just says joy to the world. So I'm gonna tuck that in with my Christmas decor. And this of course was my little bell that hung on 
the um, little curtain rod over the window and I've taken that off and that's going to go in the box of Christmas decorations too. I grabbed my feather duster and my favorite Georgia Essentials Helping Home cleaning spray because I want to do a little cleaning here but I just noticed a couple of things. So this umbrella, what else is stored in this box is just some of our citronella candles that we use out on the front porch in the summer months and I'm fine keeping those there for the rest of the winter. And then this was a bin that we were using for bird seed but our bird feeder didn't make it through last year and I haven't replaced it. So for right now I don't need this big trash can up here so I'm going to put this back into the basement. It could always just be a bucket or something that we use for storage. Of course, if we decide to get the bird feeder going again, then I can always bring it back up for bird seed. So I'm going to take this down to the basement. And the last thing hiding in the corner is this little welcome bin that I picked up somewhere. Um, I have some of our like little local brochures and town maps in here but it's not something I really need hanging. It was hanging where the clock is, but now we have the clock there. So I think I'm gonna ask my husband, just make sure there's nowhere else in our home we feel like we might need it, and then it may just get donated, or I might put it up on Facebook Marketplace, but I no longer have the home that it was at here in the entryway, so I don't need it here anymore. So let's move this out of here as well. Okay, that was my 10 minute timer that just went off. So I'm just going to do a little quick dust here in the entryway. And it feels good to know that I have things kind of in better shape. And, um, you know, we're no longer decorated for Christmas. We've got things kind of freshened up for a new season going into the winter months. Get the corners a little bit. And I will vacuum or sweep in here the next time we do that. Get that dual post. And let me get so some of these things here. Let me move my card, my timer, and my cleaning spray. And I'm going to dust there for a second. And I decided I don't think I need my farmer's almanac sitting there anymore. So we just have that little thing with mints. This has some candy and I'm okay keeping those. I just have a little um, pad of a little box with some note paper. So sometimes if I'm giving someone directions or just need to write something down, then I have a pencil and a little thing of paper there. And then I do have a few business cards tucked in there for some local businesses. You know, I forgot there was a drawer. So I think I'm actually gonna tuck these in the drawer and I'm gonna tuck these in here as well. That way that cleans it up a little bit. And I think I'm gonna move this into the hearth room too. So now I'll just have fewer things sitting there, which feels good. So now my entryway feels much fresher. I love that I have the scent of the Healthy Home Cleaning Spray that's just making it feel fresh and clean. Plus I've tidied things up. I've gotten rid of a few extra things we didn't need. I even cleaned the window. So now it's nice and bright in here with the extra light because of the clean window and my little entry area feels much less cluttered. So I am so excited. I feel like this was good progress for today. It took me maybe 15 minutes to get it all done. So I hope that gave you some motivation to get started on a little decluttering in an area of your home. Stay tuned for another card from the 52 Weeks to Beautifully Organized card deck, and I'm gonna take the one from week one, slide it in the back, and then we'll be ready for next week. So. 
Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button down below if you enjoy these kinds of videos. Stay tuned for another one soon. Thanks for joining me. Have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye.